Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and we are coming at you live today. And this is going to be a, uh, hi bud, a Pilates strengthen and stretch workout. So it's gonna be mat Pilates, everything will be down on the mat, everything will be body weight, and I will give you options for prenatal, early postpartum, and also if you know or think that you have diastasis recti, which is ab separations. So please follow the modifications for that. If you are pregnant doing this second and third trimester, follow the modifications, but also if you have a way when we are down on the mat to prop yourself up a little bit, there's a lot of variance on this amongst fitness professionals and doctors. It's kind of the same reason sometimes doctors tell us not to sleep on our backs for long periods of time in our second and third trimester. So since I put fitness out to the masses and you're not, I can't see you individually, I always recommend that you prop yourself up a little bit. Um, nothing we do will last very long down on our backs, so listen to your body. But if you're able to prop yourself up, I'm, I have the bow suit to show you, but a couple of big pillows, a wedge, something like that, just where you can go down on your side and have your head and your shoulders resting. Make sure that you can rest all of that on here so you can, um, you actually won't be using any of your core to support. So those are just a couple of things. I'll remind you again right when we start, just uh, for people who come in late, but if you are pregnant, second or third trimester, prop yourself up a little bit. We'll do some bridges, we'll do some modified core, where you'll do the modification, and of course, listen to your body. Okay, so I think we are ready to get started. Are we ready, buddy? Yes, it is 5 p.m. here, and Kai likes to wear his jammies, right? And when I'm checking around you, yes. and when you're laying down, I, I, I try everything right. Oh, Kai made sure that everything is right. Thank you, buddy. All right. High five. Okay, can you go with Daddy? All right. So we are going to get... Bye, guys. Say bye, Mommy. Bye, Mommy. Bye, baby. Bye, Kai. Bye, Maya. So what it really looks like live before we get started. Um, okay guys, so leave me a comment and like I have been doing with the rest of my live workouts, I will hang out for a few minutes at the end. And uh, if you have any questions for me, I'll go through the comments and see. Um, we're gonna do another live workout on Saturday. It's probably gonna be a kettlebell pyramid type workout. And that one will be another donation-based workout um, for an organization that I choose. So join me for that as well. Okay, so if you are just joining, this is Pilates Strengthen and Stretch. I won't talk too long. We're going to get started very soon, I promise. But I am going to give you modifications if you are pregnant, if you are early postpartum, you're still recovering, or if you think or know that you have ab separation, diastasis recti. Please follow the modifications if you are in those categories. And additionally, if you are pregnant in that second or third trimester, when we go down to our backs, make sure you have something that you can prop yourself up a little bit on an incline. I've got the BOSU. Um, I'm not pregnant, but <laughs> I have the BOSU. You could use a couple big pillows, just something where when we go down, you can be a little bit in an incline and a little bit supported. Make sure your head and neck and shoulder are supported as well. We'll do some bridges. We'll do some modified core, things like that. So that only applies if you're pregnant, second or third trimester, and as always, listen to your body. Okay, so I'm gonna push this out of the way for now so we can get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start in a seated position, and we will start just with that deep core breathing. We talk about this a lot in Pilates, but also prenatal, postnatal, deep core, transverse abdominis, big deep breath in. As we exhale, think about pulling that deep core in and a little bit up, okay? So think about expanding in that breath. On the inhale, you're going all the way around through your sides, through your back. Think like a canister, 360 degrees. On the exhale, bringing everything in. And you can make that exhale audible. So you can either do a something like that, big inhale, Exhale, pull it in. We're just warming up that core. Let's just go one more. 
So you're not sucking in, you're not bringing those shoulders up, you're just pulling that deep core in. So that is sort of the basis for all of our movements. I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the side. We're gonna start just kind of warming up through here, a couple big rolls through your shoulders, to the back, and to the front. And we're just gonna start seated, hands out in front, big inhale, expand. Exhale, fold it over a little stretch. So wherever you are in your fitness level, if you can't get here, that's okay, just go as far as you can, big inhale. Exhale, big inhale, exhale, and let's bring it up, big inhale, exhale, it's a little harder to inhale right with your hands up, so if you're pregnant, newly postpartum or diastasis, I want you to stay here. Everybody else, if you want, you can go halfway back on that inhale. Pull that deep corn as you come up. So inhale here or here. And then if you want one more option, you can dip that roll up. So bring those feet in or roll down, slowly down, inhale. Exhale, pull it in deep core and then all the way up. So as you can see, I wasn't super supported here. My legs came up, that's okay. You can just go halfway. <sighs> Again, if you're in those modifications that I mentioned, or if you need to modify for whatever reason, there are lots of different reasons to modify, and there is no shame in it. You can stay right here, or halfway back, or all the way down. <sighs> Let's get two more. Remember to straighten and lengthen in that spine right at the top. Last one. Sorry, last one right here. And then fold it over, let your head and neck relax into that. Just kind of shift shoulder to shoulder. And let's come up into a nice seated position. So if you're one of my pregnant mamas, you may need to go a little bit wider. You do what is comfortable for you. Breathe out here, and we're just going to lift up and down. Big inhale, exhale, and down. And if you are not pregnant or diastasis, you can go halfway back and up. Breathe and up. And if you want, we can rotate those shoulders. If you're pregnant, stay center. If you can. Let's go two more. Last one. And this time, let's let those knees drop out. So everything that we do that's a strengthener, drop it out. We're gonna close with a little more of a stretch. So. Knees can be in, knees can be out, and just gentle push, relax your head and neck and shoulders. So since we get those muscles warm while we're strengthening, then we can get deep into that stretch. If you need more of a stretch, you can pull those feet in, take it here, out, take it here, it's up to you. And breathe. Let's go ahead and come down on our side and then onto our back. So again, if you're in that pregnancy, second or third trimester, prop yourself up on something. Don't do what I just did and lift and put that pressure on your core. But you can do use pillows, a BOSU, whatever you got. So we're here, guys. We're gonna start, whoo, breathe with whoo, those little toe taps. So nice and easy. Just start with just a march. And this is where you're gonna wanna stay if you are pregnant. You can also take it up to here, everybody else. Even if you are newly postpartum or diastasis recti, this is totally safe. And breathe. And if you want, take it here. So we're still doing that deep core breathing. Just like this but we're taking it even a little quicker, but you're still pulling everything in, pelvic floor gently up. Let's go three, two, 
one and relax hug those knees in so we're going to stay right here hands are out if you're in the pregnancy phase we're just going to keep with that little march i know it's boring but that's where we are everybody else if you want take it down and bring it up so check in with yourself make sure that you're not seeing things point up at a point that goes for everybody but especially if you're in that newly postpartum or you know that you have ab separation if so you want to go back to that little march or those toe taps you want to just pull everything in so you're maintaining that control if you want you can lift those shoulders and then let's take it to a little tap circle around tap circle around tap circle around so we're getting a little bit of those obliques involved. Again, if you're pregnant, I'm sorry, we're just gonna keep with that march. I know it's boring, but you can march it a little bit to the side and then march a little bit to the other side or anybody who needs to modify. I'm just mentioning these specific ones for pregnancy and diastasis because I know those are the questions I get asked a lot. But you be where you are today. You know what I always say, if you showed up, you are successful. Hopefully you're feeling those side abs, those obliques, wherever you are, you can make this even a little bit bigger where you lift your hips off the ground. <sighs> breathe, breathe. Let's go four, <sighs> three, two, one and relax hug those knees in one at a time gently roll over to your side let's come into a side plank so we're here so we are going to everybody start on your knees so we're just going to lift and lower so i want you to start here at some point if you want to go up to that toe you can but watch me here we're going to add a little leg lift for that outside of the leg right so we're gonna go lift, lift, and down. Up, up. Elbow is directly beneath the shoulder. We're working those obliques. Think of it as two parts. Shoulder, leg, or lift the hip. Lift the hip, lift this hip. Breathe. Let's go, four. Zipping up in that core. Three, two, one more. So if you can stay here, point that toe. If you need to drop it down, that gives you a little break. You can do that too. We're gonna do little tiny circles. We're gonna try to stay in that side plank lifted and then reverse your direction. So you're gonna feel both hips whoo, to the back. And then stay up if you can one more time, a little bit bigger to the front. And keep it pointed, circles to the back. Four, three, two, relax. Who is feeling that, right? And also those sides, bring it up, little stretch. We'll do the same thing on that other side. So swing those legs around. And we're gonna start with just that side plank. So on the knees, if you want to be up on the toes, you can, but remember, we're going to add that leg lift. Just start here, elbow beneath the shoulder. Everything's in alignment. And breathe up and down. Yes. And then add that leg. So up, up, down, down. I was trying to rush it. Lift, lift, flex that foot as we go up, zip up the core. Up, up and breathe good so think about that lower oblique top hip and outer thigh and then all through the core so core is staying wrapped in and engaged yes let's go four more four good three two one more can you stay up point that toe if you need to drop it down totally fine little tiny circles to the front try to stay up in that side plank and then reverse it to the back Whew. 
right? What are you feeling the most? I can't tell. Take it back to the front. Little bit bigger, both hips. Stay lifted if you can, and then to the back. Four, three, two, relax. How many of you felt that other hip a little bit more, right? Because it was already tired. And breathe. Nice work, team. If you want to grab a sip of water, no, I don't always remember when we're not doing those high intensity workouts, but we're feeling it, right? Okay, so very carefully, I want you to stay seated. And since we work those hips, let's get a little stretch for that. So we're gonna lean back gently. And if you are pregnant, I want you to try to take this to a chair or just be careful, watch that pressure on the inside of your belly, cross that leg over. It might even be hard if you're in that second or third trimester. So just sit down in a chair if you've got one close or the couch, cross this over. You can even start here if this is more comfortable and then inch that foot back, get that good little hip stretch, right? On the exhale, push that knee down, pull that knee up. Even just by lifting that toe, you're gonna get that little stretch, right? So we're here. And then switch it, other side. You can start low and then inch it in, yes. On the exhale, press it down. Nice work, you guys. And then very slowly, we're gonna make our way back down onto our back. So go down on your side. Again, if you're pregnant, prop yourself up and we're gonna take it to a little bit of a bridge. So we're here. I want you to slowly tilt that pelvis in, zip up that core and slowly bring it up. We're here, I want you to have everything nice and tight and pulled in, in that deep core and through the center, lifting here. So watch me here, guys. Let's go ahead and roll it down. Let's do that just a couple more times just to get a feel for it. And breathe, zip everything in, lift it high, and then slowly down one more time. And bring it up. And watch me, I'm gonna come up on my heels. If this feels okay for you, you can stay here, or if you want to walk it out, one, two, one, two. Try to keep those hips up, and then walk it in, one, two, one, two. Right, if you start to cramp, you just hang out right there. If you can, lift the toes up, walk out, one, two, one, two. Hips stay up, walk it in, one, two, one, two. Let's do that one more time. Toes up, walk out, one, two, one, two, stay hips up, walk it in, one, two, one, two, and slowly roll it down, good. So good little glute hamstring burner, take one leg up, get a little stretch. You can even flex and point just like that. And then we'll go other side, flex and point. So since we're here guys, we're gonna do a little variation on a scissors, so if you are pregnant, newly postpartum or DR, we're going to just take one leg down and up. And then as we go, I want you to really think about contracting in that core. Just one leg, I don't want that external pressure, just engage that deep core. Everybody else, if you can, we're gonna lift that opposite leg up. I'm gonna put both hands on, I'm gonna push into the leg as the leg pushes back into the hands. We've talked about this before, that opposing force is extend this leg up and down. So I've got the scissor, just one legged scissor on one side, and then the force is against deep core on this side. Breathe up and down. If you want, you can curl those shoulders up. If you're not feeling too much pressure, tuck that chin just a bit, keep the opposing forces. Four, three, two, one more, and relax. Good, let's go ahead and extend that other leg up again. Modification, whoever needs to modify, just drop it down, bring it up. You're still engaging that deep core. And everybody else, if you can, lift that opposite leg, hands push into the leg, leg pushes back into the hand. Here we go, down and down. 
you're in that neutral sign position so you're not pushing in too much but you're not arching that back keep the opposing force here <sighs> breathe if you want lift those shoulders just make sure you can wrap everything in tuck that chin <sighs> four more four <sighs> three <sighs> two one more <sighs> and relax <laughs> Hug of those knees and gently roll side to side. All right, one more variation on that bridge. We're gonna combine those two. So go ahead and slowly roll it up into that bridge. Everybody can be here, but I'll give you some modifications. So whatever you need to do, you're here. Core is pulled in tight, glutes are supported. Lift that one leg out and we're gonna lower and lift. So you're trying to stay up the whole time. If that feels like too much, you can just do a regular bridge, lower it and lift. Here we go, down and up. So core is working on the movement through that. Lift those hips high. Good, four more, four, three, two, one more and relax. Good, I know, stretch it out. Get ready for that other side other leg lift up in that bridge maybe this is your weak one core is wrapped in hips are squared to the ceiling here we go down and up hips are up in that bridge don't forget about that core especially as that leg is moving four three two one more and relax good one more thing from here modification just stretch it up one at a time keep those shoulders down just stretch and stretch or here join me here pull that core in deep lift those shoulders if you want breathe yes four three two one and relax good guys go ahead and roll over on to your side we are going to come on to our knees nice work team okay so let's come on to our knees and let's start with a nice deep child's pose stretch so take those knees out if you can just to open up the hips a bit and just walk those hands forward let your head drop into that and relax into that so you find wherever is most comfortable for you maybe you're a little higher up here if you can open up the knees just a little bit take it here and breathe good and then let's come and let's bring it up on to all fours so start with just that deep core breathing watch my belly inhale expand all the way through all the way around exhale pull it up exhale pull it up and then if you want stay here if you need to if you're in one of those categories or whatever reason if you want lift those knees up inhale and bring it up inhale bring it up Stay on the knees if you need to. Really imagine that you're not pushing through the hands or the toes, but you are bringing it all the way up using just the core. Two more. Last one. And relax, stretch it back again. Good, stretch into that. Woo excellent work team so let's stay here let's take one leg out so you're here hands are in well let's take them just slightly wider than shoulder width i want you to think of that regular push-up position right so deep core breath pull everything in and if you can we're going to lift that leg up so you're nice and tight through the back of the hamstring and glute and then it's just a little push-up here to here so core is in tight and I want you to really squeeze down through the back of the leg, through the hamstring, straight line through the back of your body. Take it down and up, down, core's in. 
breathe. Good. And we'll go four, three, two, one more. And then take that top leg, squeeze it in, little pulses. Think heel to glute, core still engaged, shoulders are working. Really think about bringing that heel to your butt. Four, three, two, keep that tight. Little pulses, just straight up. Not arching the back, core is pulled in, everything's engaged. Four, three, two, relax. Cross it back and over and just kind of stretch into that heel, right? Whoo, lean into it there, yes. Nice work. All right, guys, so let's do, let's stay on that same side, so that same leg. So prenatal or DR, I want you to cross over, lift up in that core here and here, not too much twisting. Cross over, lift up in the core. You're gonna keep that knee for support. Everybody else, if you can, I want you to come up to that full plank. We're gonna cross over, little pike, Drop it down and here, join me here. Cross over, little pike in that core. If you need to do this with the knee down, that's okay too. Cross, pike, and down. Cross, so this is the same leg that was up on those push-ups. Four more, engage, cross, and lift. Last three. Last two, one more, and relax. Good work, right? A lot of things working there. Again, sit deep into that child's pose, and breathe. Maybe even turn those wrists over so you get a little stretch. All right, team, let's stay here. So same thing, other side. I'm gonna flex that foot out. This time I'm gonna bring my elbows in. So it's a little more of a tricep push-up. You might have less range of motion. That's okay. We're here, elbows in, flex that foot, lift if you can, slowly down, push it up. Here we go, down, push it up. Again, elbows are in, but core is still in tight. If you need to leave that toe in, down, you can. Take it down and up, down and up <sighs> hips square into the ground cores engaged four more four <sighs> three <sighs> two one more <sighs> and relax hold it up here squeeze in squeeze in Remember, small glute squeeze, heel to the glute. Again, make, check yourself, make sure you're not twisting, right? It's easy to do that. Hips squared in the ground. Four, three, two, one, little pulses. Up, in the back of that glute, this glute, right? But you're feeling both. Keep squeezing, keep pushing. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to relax, stretch it back. Good work, team. All right, so we're gonna stay here. We're gonna do that crossover. We are almost done. Pull everything in. Remember, if you need to modify, you're just gonna cross over, lift up with the core, not really arching, but just core engagement, deep core breath, and back. Cross over, deep core breath. If you can, join me here. Cross, pike, and try not to pike pushing through those hands. I actually kind of just did that. Think about that core pulling up and breathe. So little twist, yes, good. Four more, nice and wide, full plank. Four, and breathe, three, last two, one more. And relax, stretch it back. Whew. 
All right, guys, so if you can, let's get a nice good pigeon stretch here. So if you want, you can just stay here and kind of lean a little bit towards that hip. You also get a little IT band. If you can, turn it in, or you can even go all the way down. You can bring this heel here. I don't have as much range of motion there, but you might take it here. Let's get a good stretch through here. Since we're here, give our hands and wrists a little bit of a break. We are almost done. And let's go ahead and switch it here. Take it here. If you need to, just lean back here. If you can, all the way down. Good. All right, team. One last finisher, right? Okay. So if you are prenatal, early postpartum, or diastasis recti, I'm sorry. We're just going to do a bird dog, even though they're such a great exercise. But I know they get boring in pregnancy because we do them a lot. But take it here. If you need to modify for any other reason, totally fine. Everybody else, bring it up if you can. We're going to take our knee across. We're going to rotate out just like this. I'll give you a couple of options. So watch me again. Then we go other side. Across, rotate, bring it up. If that feels like too much, I just want you to stick to across and across, or you can just go across and just rotate this way. You don't have to bring the leg all the way back. Go ahead and come up to that full plank. Engage that deep core. So we're not dropping down. We're not up to here. Ready. Here we go. Across, rotate, bring it up. Bird dog if you need to modify too. Back to center. Across, rotate. So you're rotating out. If you're staying here, here, back to center, big rotate, and back, across, center, keeping that core engaged, we are so close, here we go, rotate out, if you can, across your body, core engaged, Woo! balance, right, you knew it was going to happen, one more each way, just so I can prove myself I can do it and be graceful, right? Yes. And relax. Good work, team. I know that's a lot on your wrist. So let's go ahead and just, without putting all of your body weight, flip them this way. And then take them this way. Turn this way. Lean it. Y'all, I am sweating. It is hot here. And breathe. And in our newer space, I can't work out with the air on, or I can't film videos, it's too loud. Whew, go ahead and sit wherever is comfortable for you. Relax those shoulders. And I want you to do a big stretch over. So your feet can be out, feet can be crossed, you can be in a chair, whatever works for you, really lean into it here. And breathe. And other side, big reach. And out. Whew. All right. Catch your breath. Take your feet out in front if you want. And breathe. Head, neck, and shoulders relax into that. And just point the toes. And flex wherever you are. You can say seated up or fold it over. Let's take one arm across, take it here, and just roll through that wrist again. As always, guys, make sure that you check out all of my other Pilates videos. I have Pilates and bar, as well as a whole list, playlist of no equipment workouts. You don't need any equipment. And breathe. Good. Big stretch over. And breathe. And of course, check out the links in the description below and you will find links to my ebooks and programs if you're looking for a more structured way to use these videos 
as well as my nutrition guide. Check that out as well. And of course, if you liked it, make sure that you like and subscribe. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your Pilates strengthen and stretch workouts. Great job, everybody. Whew. All right, guys, how do we feel? I hope that I was right on the timer. If you guys are just joining on Saturday, we got new software where we can do live workouts with the timer. I know a lot of you guys love that. It's all my husband who that was uh, his doing. He loves the timer. But I know <laughs> so many of you guys do as well. So I think I made it in 30 minutes, right? Okay, so hopefully you feel good. Hopefully you feel like you've got some strength, you've got some stretch. That's what I love about Pilates. It can be challenging, but also you'll get a nice good stretch. I'm gonna grab my computer over here. Whoo, let's see. All right, you guys. Hey, Sue, thanks. Yes, good. Pilates is challenging for me as well. Let's see, as you guys can tell, I am sweating. Let's see. Yay. 1 a.m. in the UK. Oh my goodness, are you up doing this? All right. All right, Haley. Um, yes, this will stay up so you can do it later. That's we have um, been doing that with all of our uh, live workouts. We've been leaving them up. And then most of them, we're a little bit behind, but most of them we have been also doing an edited version with an intro. It's much tighter. It's gonna look like a regular workout video. So that way you have the option. You don't have all of me talking, my kids running around, um, all of that in the beginning. Let's see. All right. Whew. Yay, Melda. 20 pounds, nice, in two months. I love it, good job. Oh, you are eight months pregnant, man. Yes, you need some more stretching moves. Hopefully that felt good. All right, guys. So I don't know if anybody has any specific questions, go ahead and put them in. Otherwise, I would love for you to join me on Saturday. Yay, oh good. Let's see, Christina's asking, how many days, how many times a week do you work out? It's a little hard to ask me, guys, because what I normally do is I'm filming a few days a week. It's been different since we've been in the pandemic and we've all been sheltering in place at home, right? So with my husband working from home, we've, been, we've done more of these. Um, I've been doing some live workouts for Fitbit. Those will be resuming this week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, 9 a.m. Tuesdays and 12 p.m. on Thursdays. So it's a little bit more right now just because we've been home more, but I would say typically before all of that, I would film on the weekend. I used to teach a class or two at a gym, at least one a week, and then sometimes I subbed another one. And then I'm like the rest of you guys, I'm squeezing it in with my kids in the living room or getting walks in. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, it's kind of hard to say. Like some weeks it, feel like it feels like I get nothing because I might go three or four days and I'm just with the kids and getting walks and doing you know core work on the play mat and that kind of stuff. And then other days we're filming a lot, so. I hope that that's not really a question. Do you have a plan for postnatal? You guys, I am in the process of putting together my prenatal and postnatal eBooks. They will be full eBooks. They'll be available for purchase soon. The problem is I want to give you tons of information and make sure that it's very specific and well researched from my prenatal and postnatal training and from my experiences also in my own pregnancies and postpartum. Um, so I'm putting too much in there, but I wanna make sure you guys have the correct information and it's not just here's you know a schedule to when of how and when to do workouts. So I wanna give you more information from that. So because of that, it's taken me a little while, but hopefully prenatal will be out first soon and then postnatal. So check out on my um, website. Oh, Sarah says, how can we donate? So this workout today wasn't specifically for an organization, um, but the Saturday ones we've been doing it Last Saturday was an organization called Black, Hi Baby, called Black Women's Health Imperative. You could donate there, or um, the week before we did Black Mamas Matter and Birth Equity. So um, you can Venmo me, or you can donate directly to them. But I would say, don't worry about today. Tune in on Saturday. Hi, you're gonna say okay, good. <laughs> 
<laughs> tune in on Saturday and um, that will be a donation based workout for a specific cause. So don't worry about it today, but yes, resistance band workouts. Yes, we got more coming. Um, yay. Hi. All right. Yes. Do you see me on here? I know. Look, there's me. I bet you're going to come in in a minute. Ah, there you are. Maya. Tracy, there's Maya. Tracy does my old total body. I know. You guys, I got six years of workouts on here, so make sure you check them out. You'll be able to tell pre-baby because people tell me that I don't take any breaks in those, and then after I had kids, I gave you guys more breaks. So, um, All right, oh, tone up. Melinda wants to know, tone up under the bra fat line. So check out, I have a workout called back toning workout. I have one from the wedding workout series that is um, specifically for back, wedding dress back, we call that. Um, and then also just look at, um, I just released one this week that's called Upper Body and Core that has a lot of back as well. But think of your rows, your pull downs with the band. Hi, come on in. Um, all of that stuff is really good to target the back, especially if you're doing the rows from a plank position. That's a great way to really make sure you're getting in the right spot. Okay, thank you guys so, so much. Let's see. All right, you guys. Yes. All right, so we will be here Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. It's going to be a, look, who's that? Who are those guys? Uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time this Saturday will be a kettlebell pyramid hit workout. Um, last week we did a dumbbell. If you don't have a kettlebell, just grab a dumbbell or whatever you have at home um, or just come for body weight. Uh, as always, I'll give you lots of options with the live workouts. All right. Thank you guys so, so much. And we will see you on Saturday. Can you guys say bye? Wave bye. this way. This way. Wave bye. to these. Bye, bye, say bye. bye. Maya, this way. Bye.